Hey guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Raspberry Pi 4 desktop kit. Now this is official from the Raspberry Pi Foundation and it retails for around 130 US dollars. Now with this initial video, we're just going to do an unboxing, we're going to see what's included with the kit, and find out really if it's worth picking something like this up. I will be releasing a second part to this video, setting this full kit up with dual monitors to see if we could use this as an everyday PC, so if you're interested in checking that video out, definitely keep an eye on the channel. This kit includes everything you need to get up and running with a Raspberry Pi 4, minus a display. You'll need an HDMI display, you can use a television or a monitor. All of the pieces included in this kit are official from the Raspberry Pi Foundation. We get the official keyboard, official mouse, official power supply, HDMI cables, official case, and the Raspberry Pi 4 4GB model. Plus, we get the second edition of the official Raspberry Pi Beginner's Guide book. It's a 250-page book, mainly geared towards first-time users, but there's a lot of great information in here, and it will come in handy. So let's go ahead and get right down to it. I've actually had my eye on these official accessories like the mouse and the keyboard for a little while now. I just haven't picked them up individually. You can buy them individually if you'd like to, but I figured I'd go ahead and get a full kit because I needed another pie anyway. So first up, we have the mouse. Keep in mind that the mouse and the keyboard are wired. Unfortunately, they are not wireless. Next up, we have the power supply for the Raspberry Pi 4, a 16 gigabyte micro SD card with noobs pre-installed, we also get the official Raspberry Pi case. Oh, and the Raspberry Pi is already in here. I wasn't expecting that. So it's the Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gigabyte model. Already loaded up in the case, ready to go. I've always loved the look of the official cases. Go ahead and get down to the bottom here. We have two micro HDMI to full size HDMI cables because the Pi 4 does support dual displays. Our official Raspberry Pi keyboard. Now this is the US version. They do make a UK version. And finally in the kit, we get the second edition of the official Raspberry Pi Beginner's Guide. It's a 250 page manual. It's basically a full setup guide for the Raspberry Pi 4. It also includes some great coding scenarios for using Scratch and there's a lot of different projects in here so it's definitely worth a look. As the name suggests, this is a beginner's guide but there are some more advanced tutorials towards the end. It's definitely not something to shrug off because there's a lot of very useful information in this guide. Now the first thing I was interested in was this SD card. It's only 16 gigabytes, but it is preloaded with noobs, so it'll easily get you up and running. And it's actually an official SanDisk Edge A1 card. So I've went ahead and unboxed each individual component. I really love the look of this kit here. I mean, everything's matching. It's all official Raspberry Pi. But by the end here, we're going to see if we can pick up individual components for cheaper than this $130 kit. So first things first, we have the official Raspberry Pi 4 case. Now, I do love the way this thing is designed. I've always liked it since they released this for the Raspberry Pi 3. It has been revamped for the Raspberry Pi 4, adding the ports we need, so everything's accessible. We even have a little LED indicator cut out, and the top just removes with two little clips, so it's very easy to access the internal Raspberry Pi in here. And the only way I've seen this kit sold is with the Raspberry Pi 4 4 gigabyte model, but if you're going to be using this as a desktop PC, I would definitely recommend getting the 4 gigabyte version version. Next up we have the official mouse. It's keeping with that color scheme. There's not a lot going on here. There is some Raspberry Pi markings, but there's nothing specifically special inside of this mouse that's going to make it work any better with the Raspberry Pi than any other ordinary wired optical mouse would. This is the US version, 78 keys. I do love that they've added the little Raspberry Pi logo, kind of like the Windows Home button. This is the Pi Home button. On the rear, we do have three USB type A ports, and the whole keyboard will connect to the Raspberry Pi using a micro USB cable that's included, so it does pretty much add three extra USB 2.0 ports to our Pi setup. So overall, I do love the look of this kit. Everything just goes together very well for your desktop setup, but I'm pretty sure we'd be able to find all of these components, given they're not going to be Raspberry Pi branded, for much cheaper. So this kit goes for $129 with free shipping as long as you have Prime on Amazon. There's a couple different ones to choose from. Canakit has one and they throw in a couple extra heat sinks and a little switch for your power supply. Not a big deal. I mean, these are pretty cheap, but at $129, it does seem a bit high. But if we look up here, Canakit also has another desktop kit. It does come with the official keyboard and mouse, but they throw in their own case, a fan, heat sink, USB micro SD card reader, and their switch. And you're only going to get one micro HDMI cable. So what I did was just find some of the cheapest parts I could and threw them in my cart to see if we could make this a bit cheaper. And come to find out, we're really not that far off. So I've added the power supply, a cheap case, 
the Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gigabyte model. Now we can actually knock $6 off of this. This was the cheapest one I could find on Amazon at the time, but other sites do have them for $55. Keep in mind, it might be the same cost with shipping because we do get free shipping here. A single micro HDMI cable, 16 gigabyte micro SD card, and a wireless M270 keyboard. I actually use this on my main Windows PC. I personally really like these keyboards and it is wireless, comes with all the batteries we need. Total cost on this, 11874. Now with this, we're not getting that Raspberry Pi beginner's guide and we're only getting one HDMI cable, but the price isn't as far off as I thought it would be. I figured we could get in the $80 range here, but going from 118 to 129 really isn't a big jump and you do get the official equipment from the Raspberry Pi Foundation. So I was actually surprised to see that it wasn't that far off at all. So in the end, is this kit worth the price? I personally think it is. If you're just getting started with the Raspberry Pi, this is a great option for you. You can just buy this full kit Use the TV you already have or get an extra monitor with an HDMI input. And I think one of the main draws to something like this is just to have all official Pi hardware, plus the SD card that comes with this kit is already set up with noobs, and all you'll need to do is insert it into the Raspberry Pi, plug everything in, it'll prompt you to connect to the internet either using Wi-Fi or Ethernet, then you can choose the operating system you want to install, so there's no secondary setup we need to do on a different system with this SD card. It's pretty much ready to go out of the box. So yes, I could definitely recommend this, especially if you're just starting out with the Raspberry Pi. Now, like I mentioned, I will be doing a secondary video showing you how to set this all up. I'm going to be using two AOC monitors. We're going to do dual 1080p monitors with the Raspberry Pi 4 and see if this whole thing could be used as a desktop replacement or just a supplemental PC. But until then, I really appreciate you watching. Definitely keep an eye on the channel. If you're interested in picking something like this up or learning more, I'll leave a few links in the description. If you have any questions or if there's any applications you want to see running on the Raspberry Pi in the second video, let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.